How safe is your drinking water? Increasing local concerns about dihydrogen monoxide levels led us to dig deeper. And as you'll see in a moment, what we found was, to say the least, troubling. What is DHMO? Well, technically in science, it's a solvent. Its uses are far ranging in industry and even in some household goods, from certain additives in paints and thinners to use as a cleaning solvent for industrial parts. Indeed, its wide and varied uses may explain why it continues to show up in municipal water systems at alarmingly increasing rates. But is DHMO really dangerous? For years, health and emergency officials have suspected the DHMO reality. Jeff Sorensen is the new township supervisor for Cooper Township, Michigan. Since being elected, he has stepped down from his longtime position as fire chief. Jeff has spent over 25 years in fire and rescue work. DHMO-related emergencies caught his attention over a decade ago. It is just terrible. I, those are the worst calls we run, especially with children. It's several calls a year that we run on and rescues alone are directly related to DHMO without a question. It is proven through autopsies that it has been the main cause of death in these related instances. But despite numerous surveys indicating widespread public support to ban DHMO once people are educated on its dangers, numbers ranging from 62 to as high as 90 percent of participants in some studies, there are still some in the industry who believe DHMO is safe. Fred Schubkegel is an attorney representing several industrial clients. Look, there's simply no evidence that dihydrogen monoxide has been the cause of illness in humans in any way. There's some small evidence of correlation or association with DHMO and illness in the United States. A gun itself doesn't cause a murder. It's people who murder with guns. You could kill someone with a carrot. DHMO is just an innocent bystander here being railroaded. But according to U.S. government statistics, 3,343 deaths were not just linked to, but listed as directly attributable to DHMO ingestion or exposure in 2000, the most recent year for which statistics were available. But as municipalities grew, what did they know about DHMO? Recently retired Pat Krause ran the County Health Department of Kalamazoo, Michigan for 27 years a county with oversight of over 225,000 residents. Pat says that the county not only knew about rising DHMO volumes in the city's municipal water system, but did nothing to stop it. We called this fact to the to attention of the county commissioners on a number of occasions, but with all of the other issues facing them, they determined that this issue was not of a high priority to them at this time. 